the title of better better rabbit by breakfasting water once upon a time there were four little rabbit and their name were flosby mosby cotton tail and butter they lived with their mother in a sand bag underneath the root of very big fir tree now my dears said old mr rabbit one morning you may go into the field of down the lane but don't go into mr mc george cordens your father had an accident there he was putting a b of mr mc george now run along and don't get it mischief i am going out then old mr rabbits took a basket and her umbrella and went through the wood of the bagus she bought a loaf of brown bread and five currant buns flosby mosby and cotton tail who are good little bunnies when don't to lanny to gather blackberries but 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 peter who was very naughty ran straight away to mr mc george's garden and secured under the gate first he ate some lettuce and for some french beans and then he ate some radish and then feeling rather sick he got to look for some brassy but to ground the end of a cucumber frame whom some me whom should he meet but mc george mr mg george was on la- his landing and gnis planting out in cabbage but he jumped up and ran after peter weighing a rack and calling out stop thief peter was most dreadful frankly and he rushed all of the garden for he forgotten the way back to the gate he lost one of his shoe among the cabbage and the other shoe amongst the potato after losing them he ran our four legs and went for the so that i think he might have got away all total if he had not unfortunately run into a gooseberry net and got catched by the long buttons on his jacket it was a blue jacket with grass buttons quite new better have himself up for lost and shed big tears but his sobs were overheard by some friendly sparrows who flew to him in great excitement and imploring him to expect himself mr m c georger came up with a sieve which he intended to top upon top of peter but peter wriggled out just in time leaving his jacket behind him and rushed into tool set and jumped into a can it would have been a beautiful thing to hide in if it had not had so much water in it mr mc george was quiet sure that peter was somewhere in tool shed brigup skyland under a flower pot he began to tan them over carefully look under each presently peter sneezed kitty school mr mc george was after him no time and tired to but his food upon better beater 
who jumped out a window upsetting three plants the window was to do small for mr mc georges and he was tired of running after waiter he went back to his work peter sat down to rest he was out of breath breath and trembling with fright and he was not to least in idea which way to go also he was very dumb with sitting in that can after a time he began to wonder about going lipply lipply not very fast and looking all around he found a door in a wall but it was looked and there was no room from fat little rabbit to excuse underneath an old mouse was running in out over the stone door step carrying bees and beans to her family in the wood but peter asked her to way up way to the mouth way to the gate but she was such a large bee in her mouth that she would not answer she would shock her head at his peter began to cry then he t- tired to find his way straight across the garden but he became more and more puzzled presently he came to the pond but mr m c george filled filled with the water cans a white cat was starting at some gold fish she fa- sat very very still but now and then tip for tip of her tail twitched as it were alive but peter thought i it best to go away without speaking to her he had heard about cats from his cousins little benjamin bunny he went back toward the tool shed and he but suddenly quiet close to him he heard the noise of wheels screech screech scratch scratch screech beater scratched underneath the buses but presently as nothing happened he came out and climbed upon a bill barrow and beat over the first thing he was yeah he saw was mr mc george going on ends his back and return toward peter and beyond his him was the gate peter got done very quietly off the wheel barrow and started running as fast and he would go along a stately walk belonged some back current buses mr m c george catched sight of him at the corner but peter did not care he slid underneath the cat and safe at last in wood outside the garden mr m g george sir hung up the little jacket and the shoe for a scary crow to frighten the blacks but Peter never stopped running or looked behind him till he got home to the fire tree. He was so tired that he flopped down upon the nice soft sand on the floor of the rabbit hole and shut his eyes. His mother was busy cooking. She wondered what he had done with clothes it was second time jacket and pair of shoes that but uh, peter had lost in fortnight 
I am sorry to say that Peter was not very well during the evening. His mother but him to bed and made some camellia tea. And she came to dust off with Peter. One table spoon to be taken at bedtime. But Rosie, Mosey and Cottontail had bread and milk and black blackberries for supper